So continuing on with our series on the repairs on this 2013 G63. Um, I've now got it in the garage here. I'm gonna start working on the front end. I took it in for an alignment, um, just to a local alignment shop, um, hoping that they would be able to do one. And uh, they came back with a, a laundry list of repairs needed on the front end. So obviously their quote was uh, outrageous. They quoted me a bunch of Mercedes parts that you can't even get right now. I checked with the dealerships and uh, most of the stuff's on back order. So I ended up having to go to Rock Auto and uh, ordered uh, quite a bit of stuff. So some of it's come in, some of it's still coming, but uh, I'll show you guys kind of so far what I've got. So uh, this is one of the tie rods, just a tie rod end. This is a new uh, steering drag link. Now I probably didn't need the whole thing. Could have probably just replaced the ends, but I think it was only about a hundred bucks. Uh, this is a, a steering damper. Um, and then I got some maintenance stuff too, like the, I got some new valve cover gaskets, got some new air filters, got an oil filter, and uh, some spark plugs. And these are uh, brake shoes for the parking brake on the back, and this is just a hardware kit. Um, I've got some new rotors and pads and stuff coming for the back also. Um, the back rotors are just worn right out. If you can see, they're kind of grooved really badly. I mean, you can catch your finger on there so i figured since i'm replacing the rotors i might as well do the parking shoes also i mean the parking the parking brake works fine right now but i mean it was really cheap it was like 25 dollars for the shoes and like 10 bucks for the hardware kit so i'm in the process of uh putting it on on jack stands right now just about to get the front wheels off and then we can uh go ahead and uh have a look at our, all the suspension components and see what it actually needs. Um, I also ordered uh, new bushings for the control arms because the shop told me the, the bushings were worn out and they quoted me Mercedes bushings that you can't even get. So I ended up ordering a set of polyurethane ones. So I'll be taking the control arms off, uh, pressing the old bushings out and then uh, putting the new polyurethane ones in. So let's... Uh, Go ahead and pull these wheels off and we'll take a look and see what these uh, parts look like on the front end. All right, so I've got the passenger side wheel off here. Just trying to take a look and see exactly what these guys are talking about. Um, they pretty much said that I need a new tie rods, a new drag link, a whole bunch of new stuff that uh, was on their quote. Now, that's why I ordered everything. Now I'm taking a look. This is the drag link. Take a look at the bushings. There's nothing wrong with, with the bushings on this. It's not leaking, it's still full of grease. Uh, it's obviously not bent. Um, having a look at the tie rods on the back side here, same thing. The bushings are nice, they're not cracked. There's no grease coming out of them. Um, but now the shock rubbers, you can see they're cracked. Now the shocks themselves, I mean, they seem okay. Um, as you can see, they are Bilstein shocks from the factory. Um, so I'm not 100% sure exactly what these guys are talking about. Now maybe there's some stuff on the driver's side that needs to be done. I mean, I do, I do feel a bit of a clunk when I'm driving, so there's definitely something that's off. 
Um, and obviously this thing has a bit of an oil leak. You can see it's pretty oily on the bottom. There's the steering damper down there. Um, can't really tell if there's anything wrong with it or not. So we'll take a quick look when we get underneath. Um, you see some oil on the frame here. Now, I think that's from, from the valve cover, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's why I got those valve cover gaskets. Um, but yeah, I mean, take a look at the controller and bushings. I mean, there's no cracks, there's nothing wrong with them. And I don't know why these guys were quoting me um, all that I needed all these repairs when in fact, I don't really see anything wrong with the front end. But like I say, let's take a look at the driver's side and uh, see if we can find something wrong there. All right, so taking a look at the driver's side, once again, I have no idea what these guys were talking about. Take a look at the tie rods here, drag links. I mean, like I say, there's no grease coming out of them. Um, take a look at these bushings here on the radius arm. They're not cracked, they're, they're not broken all in one piece same thing on the on the front on the bushings and the control arm nothing's cracked everything looks to be in one piece like I say the worst thing that I see are the the rubbers on the bottom of the shocks they've got some cracks in them but I mean otherwise Take a look at the front bushing here. Like I say, I really have no idea what they were talking about. Now my steering box is oily, I know that. They quoted me to replace the steering box, which they gave me a price of $4,500 for a new steering box, which I have no idea where they got that price from because Mercedes quoted me like $7,000 for a new one. But anyway, I don't think it needs to be replaced regardless. Um, worst case, it might need a, just a seal down here. Um, so I may take it off and get it rebuilt. Now, I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll clean all this up and uh, have a look once again after I clean it all and see if I if I see anything that's blaringly wrong but so far I mean all that really needs is a couple of front shocks maybe I don't think there's even anything wrong with the shocks but like I say, I, I did feel a bit of a clunk driving this thing around, going over bumps. So there's obviously something that's out of whack, but it's, uh, it's hard to say exactly what it is just by looking at everything that's in the front here. I mean, the spring perches look fine. So I'll give it all a good clean and uh, go from there. So pretty much at this point, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two new front shocks on and uh, change the steering damper um, since I already have it. And that's pretty much it. And then I'll take it to an, another alignment shop and hopefully they'll just do an alignment for me without trying to uh, rip me off. So in the meantime, I think we'll move on to just doing some basic maintenance. We'll do the filters, the plugs, the oil change, um, just your regular stuff, just because I'm pissed off about this whole suspension thing. So I think I'll, I'll just do some simple stuff for now and uh, get that done.